Hi, my name is Neil, and today I'm going to be talking to you about data science in more depth than the last video. This video will lead, lead up to other concepts, including gradient descent. So, let's start. Let's say you are gathering height and weight in your neighborhood. So, you have the person, and you have their height, and then you have their weight. There's one, two, three, and let's say you uh, worked really hard and you got a thousand. So uh, I'm making up number. I'm making up stuff here, but and so on. You have lots of these numbers. So you graph it all out, and what you get is a graph of height and weight. Today we're going to assume that a straight line fits our graph the best. There's many other kinds of lines, but we're not going to worry about that. So, you, someone, um, you have a new guy who comes along is this. You want to figure out what his weight is most likely going to be. So, if we had a line uh, that seems that fits, then we could say that it got here. As you can see, there are these other people here. So, these are outliers who don't fit the who, who aren't normal and don't go along with the main group over here for some reason. So now what the problem is is how do you get this line? Well, to have this line, the equation for this line is whatever the weight is equals a times the height plus b. a and b are constants that you generate to fit your data set. So for a different a and b, your line can be anything. But if you have this equation, if you apply a and b in this way, it'll always be a straight line. So now the problem is, to find a line that suits you in predicting uh, on some um, this other height. So, if you just do random experiments, random experiment one, random experiment two, and random experiment three, then let's let's say uh, you get. You get these lines over here. You get these. These are the lines you generate. And first, second, third. So, which line is the best here? The first one. You, first random experiment. Second random. Experiment, third random experiment. So, for these, you have a a one b one. You have different values of a and b which you randomly generated. And let, let's say you got this. It could be anything, but let's say you got this. So, which one's the closest? You figure out the length between, you figure out the distance uh, between the given weight for a certain height of all of these, and you figure out the distances from the actual values. And then, whichever average is lowest, whichever the average dif difference is lowest, is the best. And in this case, it's 2. The problem with this, though, is that um, uh, three, is, 3 is the worst. And the first one is the second, is the second best. And... The second one you generate is the best. 
there's a problem in this because that doesn't help you. You keep on running it and you have to hope that your line hits here. You, from here, you're getting better. That was a successful one. And then you go worse than your first one. That's useless. Let's say there's an algorithm where the first one is all the way down here. It's pretty bad. The second one's even better. And the third one is the best. If you could have this kind of algorithm, the chances of not taking millennia on your one program is a lot less because it will ensure that every time you run it it will get better and better and better this algorithm is called gradient descent and i will tell you about this concept more in further videos stay tuned to, to learn about this please like share and subscribe bye